and I just couldn't resist. Um, I had so many positive comments about my uh, last Yamadori Silver Birch. I just thought I'd show you the other one I took at the same time. Um, this one I took the trunk a lot lower down because there were these these branches here. So eventually this is going to be taken even further down. But it's just again slowly the slow process of building up ramification. Um, the front's there and all I do now is just have a look. You get to get die back, that branch died back for no apparent reason. Um, we've got here, dying back, don't know why. And as soon as you get this l ugly point here, we get no growth, but you've got this lovely growth here. So, you know, it's part and parcel. I think the thing about silver birch is that I've learned early on is to recognize where the replacement branches are going to be and to try and keep them developing. Um, so here, there's a little bit of growth there. A little bit of growth here, I'm just going to take the tips off to lead it to new bud points. Here, this is dead as well. There's potentially a little bud there, so we'll wait and see. Cut back to two, two or three leaf pairs, we've got four there. And this, so I always keep it relatively short in. Same here, one, two, three. Short in. This is probably going to get wired out more there, but I want to keep the growth up here. So we'll take off that top. Same here, got a little bit of curling on that. Uh, got this one coming here, that needs to come all the way back, probably to there. Take the ends off that one that. We've got a little one growing on the inside there. Let's cut that right back. Just to fill the insides a bit. Again here, far too much. Looking on this left hand side, a lovely blan uh, blanch. Obviously we've got two buds coming from the base there so let's take a bit more of the tip off but we've got Division one to two to two. Again, there it's all dividing beautifully, so I'm just going to shorten these growths off. Just so basically, what the tree is being told to do is redistribute the energy lower down, especially trying to take what I think is happening is that those lower branches that would normally and traditionally be allowed to die off by the tree by cutting the oxygen supply, or I think it's what you cut the oxygen flow so it gets told to um, to send um, energy elsewhere um, and that's possibly the reason why I'm able to keep so much growth on this. Um, I'm sure there'll be someone who's probably got a really good scientific explanation. Um, I mean, this, there is such beautiful ramification in this. Absolutely glorious, love it. You know, I feel pretty, pretty lucky to have that. Here, you've got quite a long distance there. Not like to do about it, to be honest. Just take the tip off and see what happens. Same here, it's going outside the profile of what I want. Looking here, that's obviously well outside the profile. Take that back. Uh, height is going to be up here. That's whether I want that bud that way. Well, I definitely want a bud going that way. So let's get it from there. And for all intents and purposes, that's it. So I'll put some of my favourite grow on it. And I know some people tell you exactly how much you should put on. I normally grab a little two or three, two or three of these and just distribute them around the tree. I want this to have a good strong flush of growth. Um, just look around the trunk line there. I do find they have a greater pr propensity. I like that word, propensity. I've had a propensity. Sounds painful, doesn't it? Um, 
So if you have a greater propensity, that means you have greater pain. Depends what your propensity is, I suppose. Anyway. Oh, and a big shout out to Jack, Yuha Sonar Operators. And uh, all the best for your son as well, having to uh, in that good old Navy. Submarine service forever. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Anyway, there we go. So we'll give it a spin. Nearly had the wind over then. That's the one thing I do say for something you know has dieback issues. Whenever you've got wounds, conceal them. Don't let them give the tree any excuse to die on you. But as I say, this was uh, dug up the same time that other one. Reasonably good trunk on it. Um, but this one I took right back. I mean, it was that sort of height. In fact, you'll be seeing pictures of it. So. If I'm lying about being that high, you'll see that. Well, you will have seen that already. Anyway, finally, this is the last one before my lunch. So from Xavier, down the bottom of the garden, um, a big thank you, because uh, just prior to this, I hit 300. And for me, who never thought we'd have more than about six people watching, that feels fantastic. So for the 300 people who subscribed, um, thank you. Really thank you a lot. And for those who do take the time to comment, Jack, Alex, um, Saikatsu, is it Saikatsu? Sounds like a psychiatric condition. Mind you, some of the comments you've written probably is a psychiatric condition. Um, thanks very much. And Tony, of course, you're commenting as well. Um, and now I've probably upset someone who is also commenting and I haven't said anything. My children, they also comment. Do you know what? I'm going to be cutting this bit. Cheers.